Okay guys, basically I've been working on a super simple lift, but in order for it to actually be demonstratable and not get confusing, which is the irony, um, I need to show you how it's done before I continue hooking all the buttons up for each floor. So what we have is a cab, the cab goes along rail, there's the rail, you can see it indicated with the arrows. Currently it's set to brake, so that means, so that, means that the spine of the rail is um, currently set to stop. Uh, I've missed one there. It's not a good break. There we go. And so at the moment the rail can't move and it's on the elevator as it were. I call this the spine, the long vertical piece. So if I was to hit this button as indicated by the rail touching the activation block it's going to change them all to down this is docked with a rail docker, so we've got a separate ship for the cab. Um, inside here what we've got is a couple of buttons, up, down, come off the spine, so disembark the lift, and then emergency brake, so the emergency brake will just stop right here, which is what it was set to a second ago. So that's the emergency brake, turns everything to that direction. I'll show you the linking in a minute, but I'll just demonstrate it first, so if I just hit up, rail elevator will go up and all I've done <clears throat> is I've got an activation block here and it'll and when activated anything it's linked to will change to the state which it's touching so if I want to go down click down elevator comes down like I was saying with the emergency brake if I hit that it's gonna stop anywhere Anywhere on the line you want it to stop, it'll stop. And the way that you uh, use this is when you want to go into the into the floor, as you're coming up, you'll be able to see the button, and you hit the button. And as I'm going to show you the linking now, uh, for the disembark, press C. Disembark is this one, and I've only used I've just used one. Th one one to change the state okay so from this point here what I've got is I've got a button that takes it up a button that takes it down one that will take it into the floor when you want it to and one that will bring it back out so the button that brings it out goes here so if I was to just show you what happens when the, the lift moves back it moves back to there now obviously you can make this rail longer so there's plenty of room for another car to come past it but this is just for the first build of this so and like I say um, yeah I believe I've pretty much let's see elevator up elevator down it's got to finish the linking for the rest of these switches and we're done so this lift is set up for one two three four five five floors five floors no timing logic no and or gates it's just simple linking to rails so the way it works is this. If I go and look at the up command first, that's this block here. So it's indicated by this block, goes up. Just ignore all of this for now. So we've got up. Up is attached to the spine. So that's the vertical section of the rail. And as you can see at the moment, there's arrows pointing inward because the last command was to make the cab go in. So if I now hit the up command, it will change the whole spine to up. Okay, so if you're inside the cab, you'd use this this button, which is connected to this block, which retracts the re the uh, cab back onto the rail. Okay, I was looking at the emergency brake. There we go. There's the retracting logic. So if I go and look at the retracting logic, it's attached to these. So I want to make them all slide out. So it's going to slide out and hold. Okay, so no matter what floor it's on, it's going to do the same thing. If I want this to join the uh, join the elevator, I want it to pull the cab onto the rail, and then it will sit there and wait for another command. Okay. <clears throat> so once it's on the rail, the people in the cab have options. They c they've got the emergency brake, which will stop at any floor, disembark, which will take them back to this end again. And then obviously, I'll just go back again. And then we've got up and down. 
Now, as you're riding the elevator, in fact, I'm just going to do this in first person because it'd be so much easier. So here I am, we're getting the activation. So we've got an activation area for gravity, right? So up we go. So I want to disembark on this floor, please. And here we are. We're on this floor. Done. Now hit the button because I've just got back, got on the lift. Which way am I going? I'm going up. We probably turn those. See, I need to get pulses on so they turn themselves off. That's the only thing. All right, I want to go to the top floor. So let's disembark here. Doesn't work. I think I forgot to link that. Oh. So how about this one? There we go. That worked. Whoop. Make sure to turn it off again. So you've got to hit the buttons twice. I need to make some pulses so they automatically turn them off. But other than that, this is done. Way for the control system. But it works. I'm going to go down two floors and then go and stop. There we go. Works fine. So we go there. We're going to go down. You just bash the button you want. And uh, oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. And down. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Down. Uh, and disembark. <clears throat> Yeah, it all works fine. The only reason the brakes there is just so that you've got an ability to stop. You don't need that fourth button. All you need is up, down, and come off the rail. That's it. So, but I'm going to carry on building stuff around it. See if I can't make it a little bit more uh, pretty.